welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a spring clean and decorate with me. And I'm super excited about this video because spring is my absolute favorite season to decorate for. I just love the colors and the brightness and just knowing that warm weather is right around the corner. But y'all let me know what your favorite season is to decorate for down in the comments. I love getting to know you guys and getting to know more about you. But also, we are gonna be doing my living room today. So I'm just gonna be cleaning, decorating, and I'm actually gonna be decluttering these cabinets down here because they are horrible. We haven't done it since we moved in. We just kind of threw a bunch of picture frames and books and all kinds of things down in there. So I'm gonna be getting rid of some stuff today, which is always exciting. But also today's video is a collaboration with my friend Lauren, and she's gonna be doing a clean and decorate with me on her channel today for spring as well. So I'm gonna introduce her really quick, and then we'll get started. So this is my friend Lauren Midgley, and she is one of my best friends here on YouTube, and you guys are gonna love her channel. She shares lots of mommy, lifestyle-related content, um, cooking, cleaning, decor, all kinds of different things. So I'll have a link to her video in the description box so you can go watch hers after you're done here and click the subscribe button on her channel because on March the 8th, we're gonna share our whole house tours for spring as well. And if you're coming over from Lauren's channel, then welcome. I'm so glad that you found my channel. I hope you'll love my content and stick around and subscribe. I do lots of the same types of videos that Lauren does on her channel. I do lots of cleaning, decor, shop with me's. I do vlogs, different things like that. Just anything lifestyle, mommy related. So I hope you love it and that you'll subscribe and definitely say hey in the comments if you're new. I always love knowing where you're from and like anything that you wanna tell me about yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and start cleaning first and then I'm gonna do some decorating at the end. So to start out cleaning, I decided to go ahead and dust off the living room fan because I was gonna be dusting the top of our bookshelves anyways. So I have this really long duster. You may have seen me use this in another video, but it has an extension handle on it. So it's super long and I actually got mine from Walmart, but I do have a link for the exact same one on Amazon if you wanna check the description box if you're interested. And so now I'm moving on to dusting the top of our bookshelves. This is the only thing that we have ever been able to use to dust the top since it's pretty high. Now I'm gonna be going around and dusting off each of our bookshelves and I'm just using the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Spray and the Honeysuckle Scent. This is my favorite scent of all. Like this is one that I will use year round and I'm super excited for the new spring scents to come out. Y'all let me know if you're excited too, but my favorite spring scents are Peony and the Mint. So I'm definitely gonna be stocking up on those. But as I am cleaning, I'm taking down all of the winter stuff that I'm no longer going to be using for spring decor. So I'm just going to take those little things out and I'm trying to not have to rearrange completely. So you'll see, I just kind of kept it simple for our spring decor and just added in a few touches here and there. And I just really love the way it turned out and I love being able to move things around. This is probably one of my favorite places to decorate. Um, for any seasons just because I can keep it simple but also put in whatever little touches I want to for that season. So I usually start decorating for spring at the very beginning of March just because I'm so over winter and I'm ready for warmer weather and brighter colors and just sunshine and all of that good stuff. So that's why I usually start around the beginning of March. I know a lot of people usually do their Valentine's Day decor and then just kind of ease into spring from that. But I don't usually do a lot of Valentine's Day decor um, just because I feel like it's so much work for just a month. But y'all let me know when you guys decorate for spring if you've already started or when you do it because I just love knowing when you guys are decorating for all the different seasons. And I also wanted to point out that if you're new to my channel, you may not know this, but I have a bazillion of these little blue rags. And when I clean my house, I'm constantly switching out rags. So you may not notice me switch it out, but I'm not using the same rag the entire time I clean.
Now for my mantle, I'm using the Method Wood for Good Cleaner and I'll use this on our coffee table as well. And then on our TV, I'm just gonna wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. Alright, so this was all of the winter decor that I still had up in there. So I decided to take those down. And then I'm going to clean out in these cabinets here. And then I'll start putting my actual like spring decor up here on the shelving. Alright, so this is just a look of the right side of our built-ins. So as you can see, we have tons of picture frames, games. Lots of like decor items, things that probably need to be moved. So I'm gonna pull all this stuff out, wipe down the um, cabinets, and then reorganize so that it actually is functional. So after I pulled everything out of the cabinet, I went through and decided whether I was going to keep it or trash it because there was honestly nothing in here worth donating. So that's what I did then. And then I cleaned out the cabinet with the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Spray again and reorganized it. And I really love the way that it turned out. And now moving on to the second cabinet and this one was a little bit harder because a lot of the stuff in here I just didn't know whether we were going to get rid of it or not because it was mainly up to chance and so I'll tell you about those things in a few minutes. We can always make it through. What we do is what we do. I can take you anywhere. Okay, whew, that was intense. I got really hot and sweaty while I was working, but I'm gonna show you guys what all I pulled out of the cabinets, what they look like on the inside now, and what I'm getting rid of, all of that good stuff. All right, so starting with this bag, I just put all of our Christmas like greenery in there, and I'm gonna put that with our Christmas stuff. Then I have um, like this stuff, which I need a frame for this, but um, this could be spring stuff if I want to use that. And then this stuff right here is going to be trash. And then I also have this for spring that I'm about to put out probably. And then I have a few signs. This one, I just don't know where, where to put this in my house. So if y'all have any ideas, I might keep on, hold on to it for a little while longer. 
My mom actually gave that one to me, so I don't want to get rid of it. And then this one is, um, Chance had this made for our ninth wedding anniversary. And I thought that was super sweet, but what do you do with it now? I mean, I might put it up, but we've been married for almost 11 years now. So I feel like people will come over and think we've been married for nine. I don't know. And then this is something that I usually put up in the spring. It's something that the kids made in 2016 for Father's Day. So that one always usually goes up for spring somewhere. Oh, I feel like I'm breathing really heavy. All right. And then here are a bunch of pictures. Like this one was Kaysen when he was born. That was Kaysen's first birthday. How cute is that? We did where the wild things are birthday. And then I just have a bunch of other pictures. Um, I don't know if y'all did this too, but with your firstborn, like we printed out everything. And now I don't know what to do with all these pictures because we don't have space on the walls for them. So let me know if you have any ideas for that as well. All right, moving over here, all of that stuff I'm getting rid of. Those are all like frames and just random things that go on the wall that we can't use. And then I have this box and I'm not getting rid of this stuff. This is all like hunting pictures or actually this one needs to go back in here. But um, all of these hunting pictures, like I don't know what to do with all these, but I don't wanna get rid of them because um, I don't know what Chance wants to do with them, so I'm gonna let him look through these and maybe we will pull them out and put them in like a photo book or something like that because we just don't have anywhere to put all these frames. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys what the inside of the cabinets look like. This is the left side. And I ended up doing like all of our albums are right here. These are all photo albums. Most of these are like mine and Chance's, but then, the ones over here are the kids and I do photo books every year and I actually do like what age they were. So you'll see like right there it says Gracie June age two. So that's how I do their photo books each year. And then I have some DVDs, our Dave Ramsey stuff. Then um, this is just our DVD player and direct TV. And then honestly, I don't even know what this is. I don't but it's chances, so I don't wanna get rid of it. I'm gonna let him look at this stuff. And then these are a few like sentimental things that I'm gonna have Chance look at as well. So I know it's not as pretty as I wanted it to be, but it'll do for now. It's definitely much better than it was. <laughs> All right, now moving back over here. Oh, I'm so hot. All right. In this cabinet, this one definitely turned out better than the other one, <laughs> but um, I just put candles that are from different, like our other seasonal candles right here. I have more, but I think they're in the bathroom, so I may move those in here too. Um, and then just some books. Um, I just, oh, sorry. I just put that candle there to keep the, like as a bookend. And then we're gonna move, these are all like the adult games here and then the kids games. And we're gonna move the kids games from the playroom down here too because a lot of times when we have kids over, they'll pull out the games, but then they just throw them all over the place. So we decided we want them to ha have them down here so they can't do that. And then down here, these are, um, that's our big video camera. And then, um, we kept our little one too, just because it's the only thing that we can watch our little DVDs on. So um, we're keeping that for now until I can figure out what to do with it. And then I just have these two baskets. This one has like summer flowers in it. And then this one has the fall flowers in it. And then that one has like a couple of frames that we use throughout the year as well. So I like how this cabinet turned out. Okay, oh, I'm like burning up, y'all. I probably need to turn the air down or something. Um, but now I'm gonna just pick up this stuff and I'm gonna start putting in some decor on our bookshelves for spring. And I'm also going to redo the pillows that are on the couch and all of that. So we'll get it looking springy in here. 
So now starts the decorating and this is what took me the longest I think. I feel like it took me way longer to decorate than it even did to declutter just because I constantly go back and forth about what I like or putting things in different places and just backing up seeing what it looks like and all of that. So I do like the way it turned out but I don't know if you guys know this but a lot of times on my built-ins especially I will move things around um, every few days just because I see something and I'm like oh I like it better this way or I pick out something and I'm like ooh this will look good there so that's kind of how the built-ins will go but I do like the way it turned out but like I said whenever I show you guys my spring home tour there might be some changes who knows but almost everything that I have in this video is actually from last year or a few years ago from purchasing. I did purchase just a few items. That home sign right there that you see was from the Target Dollar Spot this year. And then the little pink vase right there that I just showed, it was actually from the Target Dollar Spot this year too. But the pink flowers that I put in there are from last year. So I really tried not to spend a lot of money this year just because I do feel like I got a lot of decor last year with it being our first spring in our house. And so I think I did really, really well. I did end up getting these beads right here from Hobby Lobby, but they were only like $7 because they were half off. So you'll just see that I kind of like to use the same decor year round and just switch up a few items here and there. I did get that little family sign right there from the Target Dollar Spot this year as well. And then I always pick up candles, but I'm super frugal and I usually get the ones from Walmart, the Mainstays brand, just because there are a few different candles that I really, really love that they have a few different scents and they're super cheap, but they smell really good and they last a long time. But some of my absolute favorite places to shop for home decor, especially for spring, are Walmart, Target, especially the dark Target Dollar Spot, um, Hobby Lobby, of course. I got I get tons of stuff from Hobby Lobby year round. But then also another place that I wouldn't have thought about to look at, and I always forget about, is Kirkland's. I went there last year and got so much stuff. All my little planted flowers, like the ones that you see on this shelf right here. Those are actually from Kirkland's from last year and they were way cheaper than even the ones at Hobby Lobby that were on sale. So definitely check out Kirkland's if you're looking for some flowers or even some wreaths. I got our wreath from Kirkland's last year as well. And then here I did pick up a new throw blanket like I needed another one. I have a bazillion, but I needed a gray one, right? <laughs> so I got this gray one from Walmart and it was only like $9.00. Yes, I said $9 and it's big and it's super soft and the kids are already laying with it and love it. But now I'm just switching out my pillows and I was actually being lazy here and didn't want to get my step stool out. So I just pulled these down, threw that up there for right now and I'll just have to go back and fix it later. But I love having the storage up in my master closet for all of our pillows. So these pillows all were from last year as well. The two really big ones are from, I think, Hobby Lobby. And then the other two smaller ones are from Kirkland's. All right, you guys, so that is it for this clean and decorate with me for spring. I hope that you guys loved it. I love the way it all turned out. I feel like it just makes my heart so happy to see spring decor up and that the sun is shining and it's just a beautiful day. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And let me know your favorite places to shop for home decor. If you've already started decorating for spring, all that good stuff. I want to know all of the details and get to know you guys a little bit better. And don't forget to go watch Lauren's video because she's got some spring cleaning and decorating for you guys today too. And I know it's going to be a good one because she's always got such good decorating videos. And then don't forget that we will be posting our spring house tours on March 8th. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. If you enjoyed this video, I would truly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It helps me out and I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.